Hey guys, the Portrait here. So I'm going to um, commentate on my one of my latest work here. And due to the limitations of my software, the voice may not match everything on the screen precisely, but it should be close enough. Okay, so here we go. So I started out with, uh, I believe that's vine charcoal, uh, willow charcoal. It's a very soft type of charcoal. It's probably the softest type. Um, tiniest scratch or movements will smudge the entire thing. Uh, this is to just lay out a foundation and allow me to see whether, honestly, where everything not only is proportionally accurate, but also does it fit on the screen correctly. And, you know, I put some dark shades here and there, knowing that as I smudge the whole thing, the whole picture is going to become a blur. But some of the key points, such as eyes, nose, I was to be able to see it. I was to be able to identify them later on and add detail as needed. And I don't want to add too much detail these days. I don't want, or should I say, I don't want to add the same amount of detail everywhere. That makes a, an image quite boring um, to look at. So now I think everything is pretty much in place. I'm using, uh, I, I think at this point, a mixture of compressed charcoal, which is a little bit more stable, and my charcoal pencil, my own charcoal pencil, um, to just make the marks a little bit more just uh, permanent and a little l less likely that I'm going to accidentally touch it and uh, smudge it away. But I'm starting with the hair. It's so, because, you know, you can't screw too much up with the hair. And the more I have the general shape, uh, the more this blurred image comes out, the more accurately I can assess every other feature I'm putting down is accurately or not. And, you know, our imagination comes into, into play, such as right now, the eyes. The eyes, I start out with, again, willow charcoal. This is that very soft charcoal that can be erased and changed very easily. And as I'm going on, I'm still sticking with it. Because unless I'm, I'm like 90% sure it is everything in the right, correct place, I'm probably not going switch to switch to something that is very uh, permanent, like um, a hard compressed charcoal or even my, soft, my charcoal pencil, which is very soft but it's not as soft as willow or vine charcoal and this is where i am pretty sure the eyebrows are in the right place and eyes are right are in the right place and you can you can and this is where i use my you can see i'm using my pencil to really uh putting down some details on the eyes and i'm not too worried about the position of the eyes at this point as long as i get them right correct relative to each other because I can always move the nose and everything else right so it's so in a sense I'm not really committing that much just yet um the hair is there to give me a general structure and it's always going to be there uh, what's left there is the markings of uh, uh, compressed charcoal it's not going to be you know disappearing by accidentally smudging it and I like to draw one of the eyes a little bit more in details this is this is a practice that's good for YouTube but not necessarily if I was to do it without video I probably wouldn't do that because there is a danger of if something goes wrong then you have to start the whole thing all over but once I did one eye I did the other eye this image is this image this video is sped up so when I did the other eye, I actually uh, did did it with uh, vine charcoal first to see whether it looks correct. And once it did look correct, I then kind of smudge it and I use my pencil again, just to make sure that it is in the right correct place. And this point is important. So at this point, you can see that you you can tell pretty much just by intuition, right, where eyes are in the correct position or not. And if it's not. There's no point in going further. You gotta make, you gotta stop, restart, or make sure um, if the mistake is not too big to make sure where the mistake is and fix it before you go any further. Uh, 
here is where I just drew the nose and of course there's some measurement took place in where I drew the nose through triangulation which I have made plenty videos on it before in the past but here I am pretty convinced that so far the eyes and nose are in the correct spot and you can roughly see almost roughly get an idea where the lips are right so it's not so clear but you get um, if I were to put the lips down and if I was to put it down very roughly you can tell if it's correct or not and that's why I did this with my uh, pencil because I will be able to tell okay that's wrong or that's right and then that would dictate whether I would continue with the drawing or uh, I would you know try to figure out what went, where uh, things went wrong uh, so far I feel like the teeth is I remember at this time I thought the teeth a little bit off but overall it's pretty much correct everything's pretty much correct and correctable if that makes sense and if I just keep going with it I should be able to correct everything and refine everything as we go along especially I know that as I uh, in the end as I increase the contrast by adding like the super dark areas the face is just gonna pop that's just from years of experience um, this is the 13 year old channel so yeah you gotta know you have to know when to take a break so you never you know you never abandon your channel like there's not many channels as old as mine on YouTube so now at this point I did make a few corrections here and there but they're small corrections and I know everything looks correct and I like to fix the shape of the chin a little bit more but I remember saying to myself that's easy so now I am really put down the dark tones because uh, I'm, no, I'm no longer concerned about whether the features are in the correct proportions because I know they look fine and now I'm using a lot more force to put down the hair to really contrast that with the brightness of the face and the light and the hair I really don't want to put too much detail on the hair because I want to create not just a contrast between the light and dark areas but also between different levels of details so even though it looks you may I mean on the small screen you might think it may look like the hair has details no it really doesn't it's really quite rough you know I, I used to put a lot more details in hair but not anymore and once the hair you know looks great I'll put a little bit of little curls and little stray hair here and there just to give that little bit of an extra illusion that it's more realistic than it actually is on paper so your mind can fill in the rest and make it so that it looks both like a drawing but as well as realistic um, that that balance is what creates makes something that looks really interesting otherwise it's like you're looking at a photograph um, and then that's really boring which you know a lot of I'm not saying that's a bad thing to do but uh, for me it's just not, not the style that I want to do okay so let me go back a little bit more uh, time seems to go by really fast but this point here is uh, fairly important I think because this is the point where everything comes into place and from this point onward it's all about getting the correct contrast and refining the details refining the details is a lot more easier than making sure that everything is in, is, uh, is in the correct place in the first place is, is in the right a correct proportion in the first place so yeah as you can see again from this point on um, I just simply increase the contrast I know that's gonna make the face pop I re refine some of the details on the eyes the nose the shadows uh, the lips the corners of the lips the little dark shades of the lips and so on Th those are things that takes time and I do speed up this part of the video a lot more but 
they take time, but they're not they're not more difficult. You know, they're not the the more um, important parts to get right. It just takes more time. That's all. And you have to know when to finish. Also, right? I don't want I want the face to be more detailed, and as you get out from the face, it becomes more and more like a drawing, more and more abstract, more and more loose, so that there is uh, just a, a contrast of style as well as value. And that's the finished drawing. And this drawing took me about uh, probably two hours, I would say, um, in total. Uh, I might be able to do it a little bit faster, a little bit slower, depends on how focused I am. But yeah, that's uh, that's how I did the latest drawing. If you have any questions, or if you like videos like this where I give commentary, I don't usually do videos like that before, uh, let me know in the comments. And uh, you know, I'll see you guys next time. I might make this into a print if you, if you enough you are interested in. I might just go down to the two, uh, you know, staples or something to make some high quality prints out of it. Cause I think it's a, it's a quite a nice drawing. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed the commentary and I'll talk to you next time. Cheers.